have to keep in mind when you're talking about me and Beth is that I came first. I was the one who was experiencing something so horrific that I personally had to split. And that's how our, our levels came to be. There's, there's the original 10 and they gave birth to the next level and then they gave birth to the next level and the next level and the next level. And that's how it went on until there was just about 200 or just at 200 of us. Though it was very hard to, to keep track. How we did end up keeping track so that we would be a bit more organized is that we developed um, an art gallery and it's a very long hallway and it has all poignant, poignant bits of her life on a still frame picture and if you stand in front of the picture long enough it starts to move and it relives that moment and a lot of us have our memories in there of the moment that we were created so she doesn't get to go into that gallery um, all that much and then um, there's um, there's our house it's five stories tall um, it does have an attic and um, just beyond the attic is nothing and that's about what it is it's nothing there's just a lot of things in there there isn't any light so you have to take your own but um everyone has their own room um, everyone's room is 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 uh, joined by the hallway um, we can't go into each other's rooms unless we've been specifically asked to come in uh, but then the invitation stands until one of us says um, you can no longer come in um, so back to what I was saying it's a little hard to believe that she came from me just because we don't think all that much alike not that I don't love her she's my sister and I, I care a lot about her and what happens to her and I, I am concerned when she does come out so I stand just behind the door and just behind the door is uh, escalators and if you turn around and you look behind there you see um, a vast darkness and in the middle of that darkness is our house and you can go down the escalator and it leads to a sidewalk that then leads to if you go to the left goes to the house and if you go to the right it goes to Neiman Needless Markup um, clothing store um, the M Mart and then uh, this very very delicate balance on the inside um, but I was one of the original ten and I gave birth to Lauren uh, to Beth and then Beth of course gave birth to someone else um, they didn't fully form they uh, hold fragments but um, so we call them ghost altars and um, Catherine, uh, Kathy and Cassie, she doesn't like to be called Catherine, but Cassie and Kathy are going to have another child. They have Harry and Zandy now and they uh, are going to adopt another ghost altar and make the try to make the, try to bring all the fragments together and make them a whole altar so that they can um, make progress and grow as well um, and I've given a very long answer to a very simple question I don't have a specific sushi in mind that I would want to be if I could be one well, let's try this one then. If you could go to any school in the whole world, where would you go? Me? I would go to King's College in, in London. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen pictures there and they had this really cool exhibit just this past March um, where they had some very old writings, very old uh, books there. I thought it was just, if I had been there, I would have been kicked out because I would have been drooling a little and I would have gotten it on the display case and you know that kind of stuff you have to be careful with because they're old books and you don't want to get them wet or anything. Any college in the world? I would, I would attend the University 
of British Columbia and Vancouver. I've heard very good things about that school. Um, they have an amazing creative writing program. I know that Tommy would absolutely love it. Um, I'm not sure if they have the PhD program there. Um, I think they once did, but I'm not sure if they had enough people come back to participate in it. I don't know if they actually kept it or not, but um, that's the school I would go to. If I had to pick any school in the entire world, I would go there. It's, it's among the top 40 schools, top 40 best schools in the entire world. And if you take into consideration how many schools are in the world, that's impressive. Riveting, isn't it? Do you ever wish that any part of your life was different? Do you wish that you, you could go back and change anything? That's a common question that people ask people who've gone through devastating, devastating in incidences in life. No, I wouldn't change anything. Just as Tommy says, she wouldn't change anything because then that would change the person she is. And I have to agree. Um, I, I love and adore the person I am and I love and adore the person she's becoming. <sighs> Switching a lot makes her tired and then we become tired. So we may have to cut this uh, Q&A short because um, it is late. Um, she does return to work in two days and uh, this is making her very tired so um, I've had a lot of fun um, answering the questions and not really answering the questions is it it's just kind of seeing how Beth and I interact um, just like sisters that's all nothing more nothing less but I'm not ready for bed. But I guess I have to go too. This is going to be a lot of editing. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've enjoyed being here. Um, yeah. I guess I need to go to bed because I can't think of anything else, anything that's Beth worthy. Kind of like um, Jeff Foxworthy. That was lame. I'm sorry. That was lame. It's late. It's it's nearly four in the morning. Um, 